Okay, last video is short. But, uh, yeah, I was talking about Abby. And I just wish I had recorded some videos of myself back then uh, with me being positive and smiling. Because that was a great month. That was a, a month that, that I was excited about life. That was, you know, 2006. That was, uh, uh, what was, seven years before I was diagnosed with Lyme disease. I, I've known since the early 90s that there was something wrong with me. But, you know, and, and I'm just, you know, in my videos, I know a lot of my videos are, not really positive. Oh, I'm sorry, the phone is shaking. Must be one of the tires. Uh, I can see the phone shaking. I'm holding the phone. But let me slide the phone down a little bit. Uh, do this. Do that. Maybe it won't shake as much. But yeah, I. Um, so. Yeah, I wish I had recorded uh, some videos then. I just love Abby. Abby married a different guy uh, in late 2020. And um, yeah, her and I exchanged uh, emails, several emails in the wee hours of uh, Christmas Day 2020. Then the last email she sent to me, she says, "Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, my husband uh, doesn't want us want us to communicate." Which is, I guess that's the way it goes. You get married, and uh, your spouse doesn't want to uh, want you to communicate with a previous someone uh, that you uh, have been in love with before, or pursued a relationship with before. So, I shouldn't be surprised by that, but I will always love Abby. I will love Abby until my last breath. I will love Abby, uh, well, you know, when God wakes me up again, I will love Abby. I will always love Abby. Abby is so immensely special to me. And I can't, I think I might have said it before. There's two people in that circle. In this, in, 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 in my circle of people around me. You know, family, friends, relatives, co-workers, neighbors. There's two people that most every time I bring up Abby, they can't help themselves but just, just, rip into her just rip into her like just like a mad dog and oh boy that that bothers the hell out of me that is just so mean so rude so very rude so very mean for people to do that I love Abby I I was I had hoped to marry Abby And I, I made several mistakes and in, in during the time that her and I, we, her and I exchanged, she was, you know, she's probably still living in Montana. I'm in Minnesota. We were basically a thousand miles apart. We texted each other, I think every single day for a year. Her and I got to know each other very well. Her and I shared deep deep things with the with I shared deep deep thing things with her deep deep personal things with her she shared deep deep personal things with me I was type she started typing I love you I think it was April of 2016 and then uh, and then I, after she typed that to me two or three, four times, text messages, um, I asked her, 
know, in what context. And, uh, and it basically was, I, I love you, like, well, okay. We got to the point where her and I were talking about um, either I moving to Montana or her, her moving to Minnesota we could, so we could start dating. It, it, it got to that point where it was being talked about. That never happened, sadly, but I will always love Abby. I just always will. She is so special to me. And it like to people, to people who, who just have to rip into her almost every time I bring up her name. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Do you know how mean that is to do that when you say that to me? I had one of those two people tell me, you don't love her. I just wanted, I wanted to reach through the phone and start choking that person. Just, I just, some people, they, they, they just say something. And they, they don't even think, oh boy, is, 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 a, is what I'm about to say going to hurt Boyd? Um... This is interesting. I think I, I have a, an ex-police cruiser Ford Taurus ahead of me. Looks like an ex-state patrol car. And on the trunk of the car are two-inch white letters that says, Not a cop. But, uh, hmm, that's interesting. But just I, I just I just couldn't believe what I was hearing when the one person says you don't love at her. What? Who does who determines if I love Abby? I do. I know it in my heart that I love Abby. I remember the moment I looked in she looked into my eyes and the tingling started at my feet and came up through my entire body. I remember, I don't remember the day or the minute, the hour, I remember where it happened, but that was the moment I fell in love with Abby. It just, I, I, you know, when Abby wasn't talking to me for almost five years, I was sending her emails here and there, and I told her, I told her in at least one of those emails, falling in love with you has been the most the greatest, most significant thing to happen to me in my life. And, uh, but anyway, I guess it just wasn't meant to be. Fall, the, the basic way of thinking of your average human is for themselves. They think for themselves. They look, they get food for themselves. They eat for themselves basic daily functioning for for humans is for self self-preservation and, and I don't mean to say that trying to say that every human is selfish but but you know just day-to-day -day functioning for most humans is for self or you work a job to make money for yourself so you can buy food and pay for your housing and your vehicle and all of that. But falling in love with someone is completely opposite of self. And it is such... It is such a special feeling. It's just such a wonderful, outgoing, selfless feeling. A care for another person. And, and I believe that's a gift from God. And I, I've fallen in love with two different women. And, um, okay, I'm getting close to, yeah, I'm getting close to my next delivery, to delivery number five. And I think I gotta switch to um, the GPS and find this one. So, off to the next video.